Hi, Kyle Z here with In Session Audio. One feature that many Native Instrument customers have wanted is a way to hear a patch without loading it. Now, why would this be beneficial? Well, speaking of contact libraries specifically, as they've become more sophisticated, the time it takes a patch to load has increased. So the thought has been, isn't there a way to hear this without waiting three, four, five, or however many seconds it takes to load? Well, now there is a way to do it by using the latest version of Complete Control, which is free, or the machine software. I'll focus a bit on contact within Complete Control, but know that this works with any NKS compatible software instrument or library. I'll show you how to set it up, how it works, and talk about some of the pros and cons. But first, I've mentioned Complete Control and NKS, short for Native Control Standard. Let me briefly touch on what those are, as it's kind of difficult to understand what one is without understanding the other. Complete Control is a piece of software. The software itself isn't a synthesizer or sampler, but rather a sort of host and performance engine for any NKS-ready instrument or library. And actually, it can host any VST or AU instrument, but if it's not NKS-ready, they'll show up in the user area. What might be a bit confusing is that Native Instruments keyboard range and the software share the Complete Control name. But you don't have to use a Native Instruments keyboard to use the Complete Control software, or vice versa. But it's when you use them together with an NKS-ready library that you get the light guide and auto map knob functionality on the keyboard. An NKS-ready library will also have all of its patches tagged and categorized for quick sorting. For example, if I need plucked strings that are arpeggiated, I can see any patches that fit that description across all of my NKS-ready libraries, no matter the product. With the new preview feature, so long as the speaker icon is lit, when you click a name, you'll hear a recording created with that patch. When you find one you like, double click it to open the instrument it belongs to. So what do you need to do to get this functionality? As of October 2017, developers like us are now required to provide audio recordings of each patch and contact snapshot. This way, any contact player compatible library or NKS ready instrument that debuts after this date should have the preview files built in. Our Shimmer Shake Strike library fits this description. But what about all the other NKS ready libraries and instruments that you might already have? Let's get to that. First off, you need to either update your version of Complete Control or download and install it. Once you update, You'll see this message when you open Complete Control, letting you know that you need to download the native browser preview files. If you're a new user of Complete Control, this is where things might be a bit different. As an existing user, I received this email on October 5th, 2017, stating that I needed to enter a serial number into native access to get the preview files for my existing libraries and instruments. Once I entered the serial, the preview files were made available to me in my list of not installed products. You might notice that the download is nearly seven gigabytes. I suspect that this contains preview files for every NKS ready product that existed before October, not just the ones that you own. That way, when you install a library that came out before October, the preview files are already on your system. I actually took a look through the previews and there are over 100,000 files. In my opinion, the pros heavily outweigh any criticisms, and I think Native Instruments should be applauded for not only implementing the feature, but for going back to existing libraries and making the previews. I mean, they provided us with a tool to make the previews for Shimmershake Strike, and with nearly 200 patches, it took around four hours time to make them. I can only imagine what it took to make 100,000. So here are a few things I think users should be aware of. Most preview files are in the key of C, using either a C note or C major chord. For a library of synth patches, this works pretty well. But for libraries where there are multiple mixes of the same instrument, differences between patches can be a bit less defined. I think I'd still want to open up and play many of these to get a feel for the instrument. As for patches that use loops, arpeggiators, or sequencers, many of the preview files that NI has made for existing libraries, like our own Rift generation, 
are all at 120 beats per minute, which makes some previews too slow or fast, sounding less than optimal. But moving forward, I think this will be less of an issue since developers now control the creation of the previews for their own libraries. Another thing to consider is that some libraries have a lot of sound control from just one patch, and there's really no way for a preview file to accommodate that. The Action Strikes library is a good example. Once you're in the patch, you can load up a range of different drum ensembles that can sound quite different from one another. Of course, the preview only showcases one ensemble. Again, I don't think this is too big of a deal, but rather just something to be aware of. Finally, I'm not sure if this is a bug or perhaps there's an explanation that I'm unaware of, but no preview files trigger for any of my Abbey Road drum collections. I mention this because they sit at the top and after installing the preview sounds, I opened them up first, clicked around and thought that perhaps the installation failed, but the preview seemed to be in place for everything else. All right, I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.